Good morning and welcome. Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group, and our toll free number 800 9510592, the website at allamericangold.com. And uh, what a what a great start to the day here. We had some rain. Uh, the weather is just absolutely gorgeous. A little overcast here in the Valley of the Sun. Uh, so it's a great day. Get out there. Get out there. Play some golf. Uh, have a good time. And try not to let this show get you down too much. Uh, but we got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, the, the Senate has now cleared the decks. $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill with almost none of it for actual infrastructure. Welcome to America. And don't worry. We're going to pay for it, too. And if you believe that, right, yeah, well, I won't tell you. Well, you know. And it's so it's so sad. It, it really is when there's nowhere to go. There's nobody to listen to. Unless you're tuning in here and maybe a couple of other places, maybe. But nowhere on your standard stations that this whole thing it's one big lie first of all it's not infrastructure well a very a a sliver of it is secondly first it it was not even a trillion dollars a couple weeks ago now ah, it's 1.2 i actually saw the stock channel headline they they don't want you to know what their headline it's one trillion no well it's you know 200 billion dollars still a lot more money or maybe it isn't. I guess they're just rounding down. And then they say, oh, and we're going to pay for it. And it's all gimmicks. None of it's paid for. And none of it's going to be paid for. You know who's going to pay for it? Listen, and we talk about this. I remember, you know, 18, 20 years ago, oh, we can't do this to our children and our grandchildren. I started telling everybody a decade ago, we're the children and the grandchildren. We're just starting to see it. Ask any business owner if there's inflation or not. Ask them. They'll tell you. They'll tell you what's really happening out there. And they can hide and they can, you know, play little games and, and you know, bushwhack the markets and all of that for a little while. And then, eventually, the crash comes. Uh, one of the world's big uh, guy that makes his money short selling, Jim Chanos, guy, super wealthy man, uh, has been playing this market pretty well because he's been saying higher, higher, higher. He was out today saying, "Get ready, the retail investors all in." That's when they like to really do all the wacky. So be careful. That's all I'm saying. Be careful out there. Speaking of being careful. You know, I've been talking for almost a year now. We've got the best CBD products anywhere. I drive in this town. You know, there are CBD stores. They, they, they kind of are almost like the, the like pawn shops now and, and vape stores. They're in every little small little shopping center all over town. Because people are starting to figure out, hey, there's a better way to heal yourself uh, but the problem is these stores are packed with some. You don't know what's in it. You don't know the purity. You don't know anything. But did they take it from the seed? Did they take it from the flower? Did, what, how did they? What was the process they used to extract the CBD? All of that matters. And we've got the best of the best. I do want to caution people. Listen, if you're having trouble sleeping, CBD is for you. Grab, grab the tincture. But I will say this. Don't take it before you start driving. Okay, be careful. We, we had a customer that did it. He was like, I almost fell asleep on the way home. Wait till you get home. Wait till you get home. Be, be careful out there. Uh, there's no, listen, there's no marijuana in this thing. There's no none of that THC, none of that funky stuff. Uh, it's pure, too. It's like 98% pure. It's the highest purity you really can get out there. 
uh, and it's all natural, all organic. Uh, they take it from the flower, which is a big reason for the, the purity of it all, uh, how they take the uh, seaweed, how they extract it out of there. They don't use all the harsh, because you can do it for less, using all these nasty, terrible chemicals. They don't do any of that. Uh, I, I have a collection, so I, I take the 3,000 tincture because I'm a bigger guy. And, and I don't need it. I sleep fine. Matter of fact, when I take it, it doesn't make me tired. Okay? It, it doesn't. But, man, is it great for the, you know, my body's been beat up. I need a new knee. Uh, my elbow's a mess. My back, I, I sort of have, uh, as all of you know, I'm supposed to have this surgery on my back because it's my six and seven are pinching the nerve. CBD has helped me put all of that off. I used to be a guy, I used to take between 20 and 40 Advil a week, depending on whether or not I was playing pickleball or golfing. Or Now I don't take any. I also have the salve. I have the lotion for different things. Uh, when I'm feeling a little anxious, I found this trick, and it was a customer told me about it. I take that salve, and I just go temple to temple along my forehead. It just settles me right in. Uh, the lotion's great for sunburns and things like that. Uh, all those products. We got so many. The retinol cream. People love that retinol cream. Uh, and so, don't forget the bath salt. Uh, man, you get a lot in there. You really do. You get a lot in there. Uh, it's what a great product. Uh, check them out. Plus, it helps the radio station. Thirteen sixty KHNC. Hit the shopping cart button. Get off all that pharmaceutical crap. Let your body heal the natural way. Picture Radio News Hour. We got a great show lined up for you. Don't touch that dial. 800-951-0592. Picture Radio News Hour. Huge gold show going on right now. Uh, we have uh, representatives on site. So uh, you're going to get the best deals possible. We had that, that uh, ambush of gold the other day. Listen, it's great. Believe it or not. Business has picked up. We, we probably it's probably doubled just since Monday, uh, as people are taking advantage uh, of the pullbacks here. Uh, gold and silver firming up today. Uh, right now, gold seventeen thirty. It's up six. I think kiko has got it flat, but seventeen thirty. Uh, silver's up ten. Uh, Twenty three forty right now. By the way, uh, Mario or Mario, <laughs> Governor Cuomo. Mario was his dad. And that's how, you know, when I was growing up, Mario Cuomo was the governor of New York, a very powerful family. Uh, but Andrew Cuomo is going to resign in two weeks after all of these sex scandals. First of all, what took so long? And why two weeks? Just do it today. Get lost. Time to go. Uh, here's the problem, though. They're not going to do anything for New York. They'll just get another person even more liberal than him. But I started to show talking about how sad it is. That we, we've entered into the, I don't even know how we got here. But everybody wants to be told lies. Just lies. It used to be, you know, I remember my parents and I grew up, maybe I grew up differently. But, you know, at, at, and when I was growing up, family was big. Family's not as big anymore, but it was big for me. I mean, every holiday, right? If you're at, at they're either at our house, the grandparents' house, but I'm talking the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, birthday parties. They weren't your friends. They were your relatives. That's just how I grew up. Uh, and every holiday, you know, whether from Fourth of July to to the big ones, to the little ones, Labor Day, Memorial Day. We, it was family Sundays, Sunday dinner. A lot of times, it included uh, the priest from our church. You know, I, church was big. You know, I, I told everybody. You know, I had three brothers and I. They, they, we went to church on Saturday night because you know they want to disturb the 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 more serious crowds on Sunday and all of those things and and all of that. Uh, all of these things have seemed to disappear, but they would have debates. Every family gathering. 
And my, my grandfather, he was kind of like the ringleader. And and they would argue back and forth and 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 yes, New York was 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 blue. But it wasn't this type of blue. Right? Much, much more conservative than what it is today. You know, I think of New York today, you think of Cuomo, you think of AOC, and, and you just, uh, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, Chuck Schumer was around, but Chuck Schumer was like, you know, he was kind of a loony back in the day. Now he's got huge power. Bernie Sanders, another great, he was a loony. And they would debate. And they would talk about how, oh, that, that's, that's baloney. They ain't paying for that. They're just making it up. They're lying. And they knew it. And they would push back. And, and you wouldn't get ridiculous legislation. You wouldn't be able to, to be gaslighted. Interest rates at zero for a decade. Right? The most liberal banker of all time, Janet Yellen, telling us we need to spend another $3.5 trillion. On what? Giveaways. And then I get articles like this. And, and, I, think, and I sit there and I, I, I preface all this. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, next. I do know how we got here. It's articles like this. An Oregon high school diploma does not guarantee that students who earn it can read, write, or do math. Governor Kate Brown dropped the requirement that students demonstrate that they can achieve those essential skills by signing Senate Bill 744 in the law. She She declined to comment on why she supported it, it's none of your business, why? But the bill, yeah, apparently, uh, you know, here you go. You don't have to prove that you can read, write, do math. You don't have to do any of that. Because, well, it was racist. Yep, apparently being educated now is a racist thing. This is how, I mean, this is how stupid this is. Are you kidding me? Who in the right mind? And I don't care who you are. Oregon, are you telling me really this is what you want? And the answer is, yeah. Yeah, just just give me a handout. Just, I don't need an opportunity. Right? I don't want an opportunity. An opportunity means I got to work for it. I don't want to work for it. Just give me a handout. And and it's written all over the place. I mean, we see this everywhere. Uh, How about small business? I'm a small business owner. Sometimes. Some days are tougher than others, let me tell you. But that really has been the backbone of America. And what are we really seeing now? We're seeing the rise of these mega multinational conglomerates. Don't you wish we could go back? You know, there. how did we get an Amazon or a Walmart? How did we, how did we get banks that are so big? People are afraid to put their money in them. And rightfully so. Well, at least the ones that actually know. We can, listen, we can FDIC a million dollars. Ten million dollars. But if you don't have the money, what's it really worth? Nothing. And we've decimated all of these businesses. Because someone lobbied Congress and said, hey... This should be a great idea. Yes. It'll increase competition. Actually, it's done the exact opposite, hasn't it? There is no competition. 
Apple buys all of their competition. Microsoft buys all their competition. Amazon buys it all. Walmart buys it all. You know, it's like uh, all of us, I shouldn't say all of us, a lot of us like to have a beverage now and again. And when you go to the you go to the supermarket, and everyone, I don't know, every state, it's kind of weird when you go to certain states, like, like Colorado as an example. You can't buy hard alcohol at Walmart. Or the grocery store. You got to go to the, the a liquor store here in Arizona. All that you, know, you can buy anything you want at Walmart, pretty much. If, <laughs> you really you don't have to shop anywhere else but Walmart here. But anyway, you look at all the choices. You're like, wow! Look at it all. I got Bud, Bud Light, Coors, Coors Light, Miller, Miller Light, blah, blah, blah. I got Corona, this, that, this. A couple of companies own all of it. That's it. It looks like there's a lot of competition, but it, there really isn't. And we're dominated by all of this in, in squeezing the small business guy out there. Today we had uh, the small business survey out today. And this thing should be screaming. Right? We're, we're thinking about, you know, hey, this economy and it's booming and it's great. And it's this and that. Small business owners saying, eh, not so much. Plans to increase employment. Well, this is an interesting one. Because, you know, they tell, oh, my God, there's jobs everywhere. And they're, they're, a lot of people are hiring, no doubt. But guess what? For small businesses now, this number's heading down. It's actually falling. A lot of them are like, eh, I've, I've either hired enough or business is starting to slow. I'm not doing it. Plans to make capital outlays. That's a big one. Are you are you looking to expand? You know what they said this month? Nah. Flat. Nah. Not really. How about do you plan on increasing your inventory? That fell almost a hundred percent in one month. The amount of small businesses that were planning on increasing their inventory got cut in half. How about this one? Expect the economy to improve. This one really caught me off guard. This one, hugely negative. Almost a 50% increase it was already negative the month before. Now it's deep into the negative. Negative 20, by the way. 40% increase in that category. Expect higher sales. Now this was a huge change from the month before. It fell 300% month over month. From businesses that were expecting the big boom and it didn't happen. This one, like I said, 300% increase in the wrong direction. In other words, I don't. I'm actually expecting them to get worse. How about current inventory? You carry in more? Pretty flat. Pretty flat. Current job openings. Still high. That one's still high. Still a high number, but much slower than what it was. And it kind of is funny, because when you look at plans to actually increase, that's falling. Expect, expected credit conditions. Do you expect to be able to borrow money? Negative four. Negative four. Most of the businesses out there are saying, yeah, no, the bank's not wanting to do anything for me. Is now a good time to expand? 
that number also went negative this month. That number had been a positive number all year long. Earnings. Well, this is where the rubber beats the road, right? Hey, how you doing? Negative 13%. By the way, the people that are saying earnings are falling uh, jump 200% in small businesses. And all of them saying the same thing. Everything's more expensive. I can't raise prices fast enough. I can't hire. I can't pay enough. Uh, how about Kraft Heinz? Kraft Heinz came out and on their earnings call and said, hey, everything is pressuring margins. Higher prices from ingredients, the packages they use for the food, and all the way through the supply chain, uh, Kraft says that it's increased prices across its portfolio to counter the impact of higher expenses, saying that as of now, inflation has been manageable. But they worry about what the future will hold the big conglomerates we got problems hey but you know what will help that how about more ridiculous spending 800-951-0592 uh it is done at least in the senate still got to go to the house 2700 pages that nobody read 1.2 1.2 trillion dollar infrastructure bill they're saying is a once in a generation legislation until the 3.5 trillion that'll be twice in a generation they're saying that uh, right now Nancy Pelosi now so Chuck Schumer gets it done this was bipartisan so the Senate says hey we've got the votes we don't need a 5150 on this deal. Okay. Nancy Pelosi is trying to get, hey, we want both deals. The 1.2 and the 3.5 trillion. We'll see. I, I my guess is she'll relent and get the bill passed, but let me tell you what's uh, what what they they broke down exactly what we're going to get. 550 billion in direct federal spending on a range of projects. Okay. Now, they, the range is broken down this way. $110 billion for traditional infrastructure. I like how they said that. Oh, well, this is the traditional. And, of course, that's the roads, bridges, ports. Yet, <laughs> right, that's it. Not even 10%. Well, you know, we'll round up. We'll give it 10% of the 1.2. So you're telling me we could have done infrastructure for $100 billion. They say there's 45,000 bridges that need to be done as well. Uh, $55 billion for water infrastructure. And I'd say that's probably... Uh, a good idea, I think. I don't know, right? Because we don't know how they're going to spend it. 80, or I'm sorry, $66 billion for trains. And again, most of this, it's not, now listen, I'm all for it. Right? If we've got bottlenecks and we need more trains to carry the freight around and all that, right? Okay. Mm. They get a little bit of that. The vast majority of this, Amtrak. I mean, when do you finally give it? This is the problem with the government. The, the Amtrak has never worked. Is nothing more than a big government subsidy. And, uh, yeah, nobody wants to ride on it. You know, that's kind of the problem, right? Uh, but they want high-speed train service. Somehow that's going to fix it. Listen. It's not faster than an airplane. <laughs> right. Anyhow, sixty-six billion. So the just why don't we just just pour some gasoline on that one and burn it? Sixty-five billion. So think about this. 
$110 billion for quote-unquote traditional infrastructure. $66 billion for trains, which I bet most of it is just, you know, p- paying debts that they already have, right? $65 billion for high-speed Internet. What? We're going to add, the, you know, just add these two. Trains and high-speed Internet more than we are going to spend on traditional infrastructure. And, of course, that just scares the you-know-what out of me because it's all that 5G crap. That's exactly what we need, right? Just bombard our bodies with more freaking waves. $73 billion in clean energy. Most of that is going to be what? Rebates, giveaways, all of those types of things. Uh, and, 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 the, and the funny part about it is the way they said they were going to p- pay for it was just a bunch uh, of smoke and mirrors. Oh, well, you know, it's gonna, we're going to get more economic growth. We're 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 we're, we're going to we're going to cut the fat. That's my favorite one. Yeah, we're we're going to we're going to, you know, find all this bad spending and and get away with it. We're going to get away with the fraud and all this other When we've already found that if that was if that actually exists and they could find it and they wanted to find it cuz let's face it, it exists, but only because they want it to exist. Right? Twelve hundred dollar toilet seats so they could fund the contrast, right? I mean, you know, they, they wanted it to exist. That's always what you know, I always get frustrated when I hear that stuff. Oh well we're gonna we're gonna uh, crack down on waste. Why do you need to build a crack shouldn't you do that already? If it really actually existed? And you should see, oh, well, that's hundreds of billions of dollars. So what you're telling me is, is right now, we are wasting hundreds of billions of dollars, and you know we're wasting it, and you're not doing anything about it. Well, I don't want to do anything about it, unless I can spend even more money. (laughs) It's garbage. What do you think is going to happen? By the way, there's some interesting other things in it. And, and let me tell you, the Democrats are trying to steer away from it, but it's in it. Pilot programs. And all of this legislation, they always have these pilot programs, but this one's an interesting one. The tax by mile is coming. I just want you to know, remember, President Biden wants half of all vehicles made by 2030 to be electric. Now what does that mean? I mean just pull your head out of your backside for a second. Right now electric vehicles they make up such a small fraction of sales. You know as an example we we sell I don't know uh 17 million new cars a year. Tesla doesn't even sell, you know what, 500,000 cars, right? I mean, it's so small. But he wants half of it to be this. How do you think the roads and the bridges and the airports and all this stuff, how do you think they get repaired now. Where do you think that money comes from? Oh, yeah. When you put gas in your car. All this nonsense about, we're not raising taxes on people making under 400000 Oh, yeah, they are. They're just going to call it something different. It's a radio news hour. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Uh, a note just coming in from Brittany. 
Uh, I've got 20. This Now, this, this deal not as good as the deal Jason had yesterday, but this is by far and away uh, the best deal on the board today. I've got 20 $10 Liberties at $975. At $975. That is a big big saving you right now ten dollar lips thousand fifteen nine seventy five that's thirty is that right forty twenty five thirty five forty dollar savings on on ten dollar liberties today so I got but I only got twenty only got twenty of them yeah forty dollar savings uh, on ten dollar liberties at nine hundred and seventy five dollars at eight hundred nine five one zero Nine five one zero five nine two. I, you think I'd have that number down in my head? Nine hundred eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. I got twenty ten dollar libs nine seventy five. It's a steal. Put them away. Silver. I had a. I didn't have a great conversation today with the bullion bank. Silver, as you know, right? Silver. Uh, 2334 lost what at one point was down two dollars an ounce on Monday. Utility silver, junk silver. The bullion bank does not anticipate that they'll have any left by the end of the week. It may be as early as the end of the day. So if you're looking uh, at uh, junk silver, utility silver, I'm just going to read you the prices. Half dollars, $225 a roll. Uh, a bag would be 100 rolls, be 22500 They've got a bag available. Quarters. These ones, they said that that right now, quarters have been the hottest thing in the marketplace because they're only two hundred and five dollars a roll, so you're getting the same amount of silver as the halves for twenty bucks less. Uh, today will today may be the last day on quarters. Uh, they're at two hundred and five dollars a roll, uh, and then the dimes, uh, which they have the most of, which still isn't very many. About three bags of dimes total at $102.50 a roll. So a bag of quarters or a bag of dimes would be $20,500. Once again, demand just coming coming into the marketplace, gobbling it all up. Uh, And we we see, you know, the paper price wanting to ignore it and they want to play the games and do all that stuff. Get ready. I mean, it's we know what's happening. We know what's happening, and and all of this spending. Listen, they're going to get that three point five trillion as well. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. That's absolutely going to happen because we've got a weak president. Think about this: we can't even get a president. You can't even have any non-structured interview because you can't answer questions. We've got a a very weak. Central Bank Chief and Jay Powell. And we got the ultimate socialist and Janet Yellen, who looks like that's the one who's really yielding the power, isn't it? Right? It looks like she's the one uh, that's really in charge right now. And, and she's been on record over and over and over and over again uh, that we got to spend all of this money. I don't know how we're going to pay for it. Because all these little things that they're saying to pay for, that's not going to happen. And uh, Toyota came out. By the way, do you know that Toyota is twice as big as General Motors? I didn't know that. They're, they're just the largest, you know, manufacturer out there. By the way, we'll get you. I, I, I we'll get you in the order that you called. Uh, Arlene's on vacation. She'll be gone for another week. Uh, then she'll be back. Uh, so just be patient. Uh, Brittany will get to you in the order that you called. They're saying that Joe Biden and the Democrats don't know what the hell they're talking about. That it makes no sense 
to try to produce this many electric vehicles. If we are to make dramatic progress in electrification, this is Toyota, by the way, yesterday, it would require overcoming tremendous challenges, including refueling infrastructure, battery availability, consumer acceptance, and then last but not least, affordability. Right? I don't who knows how much this stuff's gonna cost. And, and the biggest one that Toyota is saying, we can't make that many batteries. Product doesn't exist. What do we do with all the, you know what I don't know, what are they doing with all those batteries? When their quote unquote life cycle's over. I know this, when a Tesla catches on fire, those batteries catch on fire, they burn for days. That's yeah, fine. I'm sure it's nothing. So, Toyota's saying, hey, you know how much these things are going to cost? By the way, on top of that, uh, the gasoline tax, yeah, that's going to be now pay by the mile tax. Can you imagine you're going to register your vehicle? Right? And let's face it, most people, right, I got to live 50 miles one way from my job just to afford the house I live in. You go to register your car every year, right? Your car registration comes in. Instead of two, three, four, five hundred dollars, it's two, three, four, five thousand dollars. That'll be fine. It's a radio. Oh yeah, I hate being not dumb, don't you? We'll be back. Final segment coming up. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Uh, the ten dollar liberties we still have some available. Think about the, this: you're talking about two ten dollar liberties. We bring it to nineteen fifty. I mean, twenties nineteen ninety five was fantastic. Uh, the problem is the, the quantity is just we just don't have very many. Pick them up, add them to your portfolio. Uh, silver, buy what you can. Well, it's still available. That's just what the bullion bank said again this morning. Here we go again. Uh, back to Toyota though. This was fascinating. They, again, this just shows you how incompetent Joe Biden is. Because he's like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 I want half the vehicles. Just to support 7 million electric cars. We don't even have 7 million electric cars on the road right now. Toyota says that the power grid and the infrastructure just to support that little doesn't exist. That we would need to build another 8,500 strategically placed charging stations for 7 million vehicles. Now, think about how many we'd need for 300 million vehicles. That's what we got about, you know, around the country right now, give or take. Toyota wants the president to explain to him, to, to them... Because, listen, they're like, don't make us do this. Explain to us how all of these people are going to plug their car in when they get home at night. We already have power problems now. Look at two of our biggest states, California and Texas. Power is a mess. Arizona, right? We're sitting there on the tip of Arizona, Nevada, right? We're, we're watching Lake Mead. We're watching Lake Powell. I mean, what in the world are they thinking? Half? That'd be about 9 million a year. Maybe 10 million by 2030. And, and Toyota's like, that's ridiculous. You'll crash the power grid. You can't do that. You know, and I, and I laugh at their, their infrastructure bill and all that other stuff. I don't know. You know, listen, we're not going to make it up with wind and solar and all that stuff. Uh, somebody, please, can we get an adult in the room? Can we get an adult in the room? And here's the sad part. Listen, this is who we're being run by. 
right? The Bernie Sanders, the Chuck Schumers, the Nancy Pelosi's, the AOC's, and they've got the biggest ally of all time, Janet Yellen, in their pocket. This is absolute nonsense. Stan Drunkenmiller last week, if I wanted to destroy the American economy, I'd keep throwing more money at it. And that's exactly what they plan to do. Get that gold put away. Uh, whatever's left on the tens. I don't know how many are left. We only had 20. Uh, those are at 975. The 20s, I still have more left from yesterday at 1995. So that's still a, that's a great deal. And then, of course, uh, junk silver, uh, the bullion bank put us on warning on notice today. Hey, all that inventory just got the price drop. Boom, gone. Uh, but I've got rolls of halves at 225, rolls of quarters at 205, and rolls of dimes at 10250. 800 951 0592. God bless everybody. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.